Hey guys, what's going on? Pride of London here. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Today, unfortunately, not such a happy video talking about all these new transfers that could be happening. It's a sad one. Uh, Newcastle beat us 1 0 at St James's Park. I think at half time, I think, well, any fans that think the same way as I do probably could call that that game was headed down that route. We looked dominant on the ball, but not really doing much with it, not creating many clear cut chances at all. Um, I feel like Tammy probably could have scored one of his chances today, but it just wasn't his day. Um, the defence in general really poor from set pieces again, like conceding not just the goal, like they hit the crossbar or the post on one of their attacks from uh, across. Like, I don't get why we're so poor, but I think this game really shows that maybe this January there actually does need to be more signings than we thought. I was thinking we could probably get away with getting top four with this current squad. But against any team that's in like the bottom half of the table, so from 10th to like 20th, I think we're just going to come up against teams that sit back, don't want to attack us, and hit us with a set piece or a counter attack, like fast on the break. Like it's ridiculous. We can't seem to deal with it, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a concentration issue. I don't know if it's a tactical issue. I don't know if it's a personnel issue. Like we need more signings. Like different. We need to wipe the whole back line. I don't know. Kepa, I think, was poor on the save. I know that came decently fast, but it wasn't blistering pace on that ball. Like. I think he could have got there. It was pretty poor. He seemed to want to go with both hands instead of just hit grabbing it with one and just like deflecting it somewhere else. It seemed like he wanted to get both hands on it and that's why he didn't manage to get the save off. Um, positive from today was Reese James. He was looking really good, getting some great crosses in, uh, but nothing from Tammy to get anything on it. I think Kante and Tammy had about... I think Kante had like 14%. Tammy had 16% heading success rate. And that's mad to think that Kante is a really small guy and he won the same amount of crosses or headers as Tammy did in that game. Like, Tammy needs to be doing better. Needs to be winning more headers, getting shots on target, scoring one of those opportunities he has because we're just going to see more of this. Against these lower teams, we are just going to see more of sitting back, soaking up pressure, waiting for us to have a lapse of concentration in the 93rd minute and conceding a cross goal. It is what we're going to see more now because... Like, sure, it was a bit of a joke at the beginning of the season, and we dropped points that we shouldn't have against Bournemouth, um, was it Southampton, the other one? We're going to see it more now, because Newcastle have just got themselves three points from it, which puts them up into 12th place, I think. And to be fair, Steve Bruce um, came out and said, like, it was their game plan, sit back, defend as much as they can, stop us from having any chances, and... I always hate saying, like, fair play, you did well to a team like that because it's awful to watch. Like, there's, that is not any... En there was no entertainment in that game. I feel drained having watched it, and I wasn't even playing that game. So I can't imagine how the players felt, but you have to commemorate the game plan. They came there to do a job, and they did it, and I think they were probably get just going to be happy with the draw, but they actually managed to get the win, so they'll be ecstatic with that. So fair play to Newcastle. You got what you wanted um, with with that game plan. But I always hate having to congratulate that because it's it's a very boring play style. Like no nobody wants to watch that. So that maybe that's just me being salty. I don't know. But any time we've come up against it this season and it's worked against us, even if it hasn't worked, it's still such a pain to have to watch and no like coming into this game. My prediction was a two 0 in hopes because I thought after that Burnley game because Burnley are a team that do that specifically very well. And we beat them, so I thought maybe we had figured something out and how to beat these teams, but clearly not. And what's even worse is this was away. We're meant to be good away from home at the moment, and our home form was what was dragging us down. And if that's the case now in the away games as well, and now difficult in that sort of sense, then I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> it seems like we need signings. Obviously, it'd be great to get Sancho. Sancho got a goal today. Um, I don't know if he's actually scored more since, because... I'm recording this just after the game, but um, he got a goal for Dortmund today, and I feel like that's probably what we could have used today, was a player like him that's able to break down teams, nick a goal in it, like, today we just, we missed Hazard, like, Hazard would carry us through that game, because he's the kind of guy that's capable of, they've got nine, ten men behind the ball, he's capable of running past three, four, six, seven, like, however many, count them, he could probably do it, and... We missed that today because no one seemed capable. Willian seemed particularly poor. 
um, was pretty unable to do anything today. He seemed to slow the game down a lot. Very frustrating to watch. Callum, you could see he was really trying. He did create a couple of opportunities, but nothing good enough to get us a goal. Um, like I said, Tammy should have done better. Um, Mason didn't look didn't look great at all. Um, in possession, decent, but nothing creative coming from him. Ross Barkley came on and did a pretty decent job. Um, again, though, nothing good enough to get a goal. Jorginho controlled the game, tried getting people forward, but again, just nothing. I don't think it was his place to get us a goal there. I think he did his job pretty well. Uh, Kante was average. Uh, yeah, average, I think I'd say. The back line, um, Emerson did really good when he came on. As P, nothing going forward and defensively was all right. But again, on crosses, needs to be doing better. Uh, two centre-backs, Rudiger and Christensen. Christensen controlled the game quite well. Rudiger, one or two sloppy moments, but in general, good. But then I have to knock points off everyone in that back line, minus Reese James, because he came off at that point. Um, for not being able to deal with that cross and that goal that went in. And Kepa, like I said, that's a subpar performance. He wasn't called upon much. They had two shots on target, and one of them was that goal. The shot on target was just a weak effort from John Joe Shelby, I think it was. And uh, and that goal, and I think he should have saved that. I get that it's stressful last minutes of the game, but that's where you need a big game player to perform. And Kepa's showing in recent games that Maybe he has lost that touch of being our big game goalkeeper that made some spectacular saves, and at, the, at this point in time, he's not looking like that kind of that kind of keeper anymore. So there we go. Very disappointing. We move on to our next game. Uh, we've got a bit of a tricky run ahead of us now, but I'm, if anything, more confident going into those games because we know we can we can play against teams that actually play football and don't sit back and defend, and hopefully. Uh, that isn't the tactic that they now take up, knowing that they can probably get a result against us um, using that strategy. But against teams that play football, we can play football usually better than them. And hopefully we can pick up some points, but we'll see, I guess. Um, like, By the way, any any fan, and I air quote in fan, that is calling for Lampard out, sort yourself out. I really don't... I don't get this. Everyone seemed to be agreed on this season being a write-off season when we came into it, but now that tone seems to have changed and everyone's getting a bit pissed. And I'm Lampard in for two... It, at this rate, I think I could stay on this for two, three seasons. Like If he doesn't get the signings he needs, then I'd blame the board more than anything on him not doing well. But I see good things from Lampard, and I think time needs to be given... We always said this is a write-off season, and now that we're in this season, even though we're still fourth, and I don't think United will beat Liverpool, but we'll see if that results go goes United's way, then we could actually be in trouble of falling out of that top four. But hopefully this kicks us on. Signings in January, I think they need to happen now. This showed that we're just lacking in attack so heavily, but we'll see. Next games, hopefully we get something better. But thanks for watching, guys. Pride of London, you know, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully one with some good transfer news or something. So, uh, see you guys.